I am responsible for how I perceive the world. Perception, like thinking and feeling, seems to be automatic. If I perceive that the sky is blue, this doesn't seem like a choice, and you can only be responsible for what you choose. But once again, the absence of choice is deceptive. The one thing we do know is that possibility is never limited, so choice must always be present. By definition, a leader is someone who can see more possibilities than other people do. No matter what the hardship or setback seems to be, evolution is at play. You can adopt a style of seeing the world based on this principle. Higher evolution is unstoppable. The pioneering physicist Max Planck said, when you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at will change. In a sense, this is how relativity works at the soul level. As you shift your perception, reality shifts to match. Therefore, inner perception, which is your sense of self, is where reality begins. The more expanded your sense of self, the more possibilities are released from the level of the soul. You will never run out of possibilities unless you limit them yourself. The cause of limitation is belief. Negative beliefs act like sensors. When faced with a set of possibilities, they say no to the first appearance of things that they judge too dangerous, wrong, bad, impossible, not worth having, or not me. Your soul, on the other hand, wants to deny you nothing. But you will never know that if your beliefs are blocking all but a few possibilities. Every possibility that cannot see the light of day diminishes your future, doing its work invisibly and outside your awareness. What you need to do is become aware of these beliefs and then reverse them so that you hold evolutionary beliefs instead. Beliefs that block your future. I'm not good enough. I deserve less than other people. Reversal. The more I evolve, the more I deserve. Since evolution is unlimited, so is my deserving. Avoidance is a good way to postpone difficult decisions. Reversal. Postponement is never a solution. It simply freezes the problem in place. If I solve the problem now, I have my whole future to enjoy the solution. It doesn't help to focus on things that are wrong about me. Reversal. Problems aren't bad. They are indications of where I need to grow. Beneath the difficulty lies a hidden ally. If I don't focus on my problems, I will miss the path of my own evolution. The world is full of problems. What can just one person do? Reversal. Evolution carries humanity forward one person at a time. I can become the change I want to see. When that happens, I contribute to the collective consciousness, and then everyone takes a step toward the critical mass required for change on the global level. Change is too hard. Reversal. Life is nothing but change. Every cell in my body changes constantly, as do my thoughts, feelings, and the events around me. The real point is that change can be conscious or unconscious. Simply by becoming more aware, I have become a powerful agent of change. There is no need to force anything, only to expand my awareness. We are prisoners of random events and accidents outside our control. Reversal. To be controlled by anything, including randomness, is to be a victim. Accidents are unknowable in advance. 
I have a choice to make the unknown either my friend or my enemy. As a friend, the unknown brings new life, new ideas, and new possibilities. I will focus on that and let go of the rest. Everyone has enemies. I'd rather stay out of the fray and have as few enemies as possible. Reversal. Enemy is just another word for obstacle. Whenever I meet an obstacle, my soul has put it there for a purpose and has provided a solution at the same time. I don't need to focus on what another person feels about me. My aim isn't to make friends with everyone. Instead, I am here to evolve and follow the path my soul is unfolding day by day. <laughs>